Hello and welcome to the world of Zwift. As you can see around me, look at it, it's beautiful. Neokio is now live. It's Mercury Island's newest map expansion. More on that later on, but first let's see what else is coming up in this week's show. I love it, I love it all. Rasan and friends give us their thoughts after a first look around the streets of Neokio. We recap a thrilling season in the Zwift Racing League Premier Division. Matt Lieto brings us up to date with Zwift Academy. I fuel up in the feed zone. We head to Neokio in A to Zwift. And there's the latest edition of Workout of the Week. First off, super humbled. Thank you so much to everyone who congratulated me on the Mallorca 312, 317, in the comments section of the last show. It was great to interact with you all. Thank you again. This week, I would love to hear all of your thoughts on Neokio. Tell me your favorite routes, points of interest, and features. And whilst you're at it, why not subscribe to this channel as well? Now, here's what's happening this week in the world of Zwift. The Continental qualifiers for the 2022 UCI Cycling Esports World Championships will be streamed on our YouTube channel. Dates for your diary is November the 27th and the 28th. Now, the top five finishers from each continent will be awarded a place on the start line of the World Championships, which happen in February 2022. You can join our co-founder and CEO of Zwift, Eric Min, for his annual Thanksgiving ride. That is on Thursday, the 25th of November. Participants will be able to listen to a podcast whilst riding with Eric and Olympic and world champion Anna van der Breggen about the 2022 Tour de France Femme avec Zwift. Riders will also be able to earn a special first edition Thanksgiving Day Zwift kit. Ruxar Habibzi, a member of the Afghanistani women's cycling team, was recently forced to flee her homeland due to political unrest. Since resettling in the United States, she has joined Team 2024's development team and friends of the show, Team 2024, are reaching out to the cycling community to help raise funds for her housing costs, for her food, utilities, clothing and tuition. The link is in the description below. And finally, Mark Lewis, a British level 20 Zwifter, became the first person to ride up out to Zwift with a dog on his back. No, this isn't a new feature we haven't told you about. Mark was using Nixon, his 14 kilogram pooch, to simulate the weight he'd lost earlier this year. Hats off to you, Mark, and good work, doggo. Without further ado, it is time now to head over to Neokio. For those who haven't yet had a chance to ride there, the latest map expansion draws inspiration from the nighttime energy of Tokyo. Think bright neon lights, tall glass towers and electrifying street signs. And earlier, Rasan and three lucky friends from Legion of Los Angeles gave us their first impressions. Tyler Snyder, ready. CJ Williams, ready. Corey Williams, ready. Rasan Bahati, ready. What do you think so far? I like it. I really like all cool. the neon lights, man. Looks sick. Yeah, I can see me winning a couple uh, couple races under the lights in here. Oh, that's smooth. Look at the bike, the bike path. Yeah, it is nice. Are you already gonna want to sprint me, huh? Man, you know, I, I'm, I'm about to go through a sprint point. This looks like it could be sprinter's heaven right here. Yeah, I mean, that's super cool because I know uh, in Crit City, there's a little hill that some of us don't like going over. So for this one to be flat is gonna be awesome, man. For sure, the bright colors. Yeah. Feels like you're really there, racing in the street. Hey, this is super urban. Like, literally going through a parking lot, yeah. Oh, is this the Sprint? Castle Park Sprint. Oh, this is dope right here. How jersey cool is this though? You, you can hop on a bike jersey. path to get a Sprint. Racing you know, on here really is gonna be epic, man. Like, oh, it's, yeah. gonna, it's gonna be so fun. So it looks like we're leaving this little park area. Oh, is there another Sprint coming up? Alley oh, sprint. the alley sprints. And I was just going to say, it looks like we're in an alley. All right. Oh, you going to pick it up? This is where I would it? sprint. 
You gonna go for it? When I race, I'm sprinting in the alley. Cause in the alley where it goes down, that's where it gets dirty. <laughs> Oh, this is way dope. When I decide to jump on Zwift and the graphics are right and I'm like enjoying it and what I see, that's like one of the most important things for me and I really enjoy what I see right now. Let's see where we're headed now. Feels like we're going industrial away from town. Oh, there's the train. Don't get hit by the train. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, that was close. I love that they have a lot of sprints. Here's another one, the railway sprint. Here at Legion, we love uh, our sprints. So it's going to be a really good place to practice your timing and your distance. What I love the most is I haven't seen a, anything over a positive uh, two grade. <laughs> nice and flush. <laughs> I think we're going back into the heart of the city. This is going to be a very popular course. Uh, just the way it lays out is, is pretty amazing. You got a little bit of everything. Dude, you see that? That's a this, crane. Yeah, the construction. It's a crane working. Of course they're working. They're always building. Head to the arcade. Oh, there it is. I told you. Straight to the arcade. I had a hunch. Oh, there's a Zwift station. That's pretty <laughs> dope. Dude. <laughs> That is awesome. And they got the Tron bikes. That was awesome. So we got a feel for a brand new course in Zwift, under the lights. First reaction. Awesome. Corey. I think it's beautiful. I think I could win a lot of races here, you know. <laughs> My man, CJ. I just want to go back and window shop a little more. <laughs> <laughs> I say we do another lap, at least get one sprint in, and then we can take off from there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Now, I think we can all agree it has been a thrilling season in the Zwift Racing League Premier Division. Hannah Walker and Matt Stevens have been there for every single pedal stroke. So who better to look back on all of the thrills and the spills across six weeks of racing action than those two fine human beings? Well, Hannah, fresh off a couple of brilliant races to wrap up the season. We're both exhausted, but we can't not have a little bit of a debrief. So. What have been, have been your, your, your takeaways from what's been, let's be honest, a, a pretty breathtaking season of the ZRL? It has. It's gone uh, you know, completely different week on week. We've had so many different courses, the different winners we've seen. Uh, riders really come to, to the fore. For me, Los Arachis winning a, across two different courses um, was, was one of the standout moments, my first standout moment anyway. Mary Wilkinson rounds the corner, but another power up is bridged off. There's some draft power up here. It's uh, going into the front now. It looks like it's going to be Ionian Racing that take one. Abergis makes it two from two. What an amazing sprint. What I've enjoyed is, is the emergence of other teams actually knocking on the door. I know I've set this ridiculously high standard, but now teams like 2024, Ionian, Movistar, of course, Canyon Esports as well. Um, Winning the team time trial, for example, that was one of my highlights. I just think from we're just seeing uh, the quality, the depth in quality rising, and that's just made for uh, unpredictable, entertaining racing across the board. It wasn't the the Heiner we were were known, but then they kept that consistency across the six weeks, um, and ultimately, yeah, they've gone on to win the team standings overall for uh, what is it now the, the the fourth time in a row. I mean, it's quite exceptional as a team to do that. Without a shadow of a doubt, I think my highlight, and I might not be alone in thinking this, has to be the victory on the final round of the Women's ORL of Christine Kulczynski because 30 races, four seasons, and finally, after coming so close and entertaining us all for so, so long, she got the victory that she so richly deserved. And it was just great to see her smile because of all the riders out there, she really is a pure, pure entertainer, a, a, un a unique proposition. So I think for me that that, that, was, that was my outstanding highlight. Look at what it means when she fights every single way to the line. Chris and Kulczynski of 2020. 
24. Takes the final round of the ZRL in fine, fine style. It was absolutely unreal to, to win. Um, I've just been working so hard towards it. And I was always so close, but yet so far. And I just went in today and being like, this, this is my course. This is my race. And um, every time I hit that climb, I just knew I'm going to hit it. And uh, it was awesome. I had so much fun and uh, it was great. For many rounds, not just this season, but previous seasons, I feel like we've given her the commentator's curse because we were always like, this is a race for Kristen Kulczynski. She's knocking on the door. She's due a victory um, and always been pipped to the line, multiple podiums, multiple seconds, thirds. Um, but after 30 races, finally that victory map. Now, on to the men's. I mean, a great season and we haven't really talked in detail about the guys, but I know there was one rider. You're a big fan, as am I, of, of Lenny Turgles, aren't you? I certainly am. And that uh, solo victory in Yorkshire, in Harrogate, was incredible. Holding off that charging pack, that charging peloton, uh, was a real standout. Look at the face of the Belgian. The gap is coming down. Barnes, Tolbert, Knudsen are chasing, but the Belgian has done it. He's uh, held on for victory. Fortune favours the brave. Yeah, it's maybe uh, yeah, the nicest moment uh, in, the, in the history of... Uh, the Belgian Zwift riders, we have uh, had a lot of podiums uh, with Matthias, uh, the Roos, but uh, now to finish one off is, uh, is, is really an amazing moment. My final standout actually is going to be, again, a highlight, it's going to be an obvious one, but it's the emergence of Next Esports. Uh, they've set the bar ridiculously high. We know they were very active in the community divisions, but the way that they have dominated um, this season has been amazing. They have really set a new standard for, for the men's esports and taken a lot of, of teams by surprise. Next esports powered by Insures that takes the win yet again. Honestly, it's all credit to our team. We uh, really merged together mid-August with the intentions of coming into the season to, to win. And we weren't, we weren't gonna be settled or happy with anything else. And honestly, it was all about teamwork the whole way through. We practiced racing together. We learned strategy together. And we just stayed consistent to that and to our values all the way through the season. And it absolutely paid off for us. I think what really differentiates our team is just the camaraderie we have and just the vibe of trying to get better each and every day. You know, my goal is to be 1% better tomorrow than I was today. And I think everybody shares that common goal. And I think that's what's uh, allowed us to be su successful this past year. Having that cohesion within a team, having that, that motivation, that confidence with the team, it speaks volume. I cannot wait, Hannah, for next season. Certainly can't. Not long to go. Matt Lieto and Zwift Academy. These days, it's hard to mention one without the other. Now, before we check in and see what the encyclopedia of ZA has up his sleeve this week, or if he even has sleeves. Remember, there's still time to sign up for ZA Run and ZA Try before they finish. So, over to you, Matthew. Hey Zwifters, Matt Lieto here to give you the latest on all things Zwift Academy. It's a big week for ZA Run this week as we head into that final workout. Are you ready to put your training to the test? Coming up, I catch up with Kelly Ruck to find out about her ZA Run experience. Kelly takes on the final ZA Run workout. We check out this week's ZA Tri Bike and Run workouts before meeting another member of this year's ZA Tri team. Okay, Kelly, I'm so excited to meet you. It's been uh, a lot of months of me talking about you and saying your name and finally get to meet you. Tell me and uh, the others a little bit about yourself and your running journey. So I'm Kelly. Um, yeah, so I guess a lot of you already have seen me doing some sessions, but I started running um, about five years ago now. Um, basically, I had my children and wanted to do something for me. Um, so I started running kind of doing like a couch to 5k program. So very little bits of running and building up to be able to do a 5k. Um, and then it's really escalated since then um, into marathons and ultra marathons. We're nearing the end of ZA Run. How's the program gone for you? Oh, it was savage. 
I've, I've absolutely loved the program. I mean, the shorter distances are something that I've always struggled to work on. Um, so yeah, the end goal was to get a quicker 5k because I want to translate that into my marathon times. Um, and to get quicker at the marathon, you need to get quicker at the shorter distances too. I don't know about you, but in a lot of cases, if I'm deciding what workout I'm gonna do, it might not be as quality and as hard as maybe some of those, those ZA run workouts. Oh yeah, absolutely. It makes you push yourself. Um, so the reason I generally stick to marathons and ultra marathons is because I find it easier to kind of go at a pace for a long time that's kind of easy. Um, but going into kind of pain cave or a pace that hurts, it's a lot harder to make yourself go and do it. Whereas I think this has been one thing that's been really beneficial for me doing uh, Zwift Academy Run is that I'm kind of told you go at this pace, it's going to hurt for a minute or two minutes, but you, you're kind of introduced to it. You're told to do it, so you do it and then you get used to doing that harder workout uh, definitely, definitely helps. So you did your baseline run, uh, you did the whole program, you've had good success, now you're getting ready to do that finish line run. What, uh, yeah. what are you thinking going in? I've got visions of taking a good minute off, <laughs> which is, um, yeah, it's keen, but you know, I like, to, I like to dream big. I like to go, go for it. Um, but do you know what? Any kind of PB would just be great. Thanks so much, Kelly. Really excited to see how you get on in your 5K finish line run. Uh, in the meantime, let's see how you did in workout number eight. So this is the final tune-up before race day and it includes five times three minute intervals. Now you've got two minute recoveries in between these intervals and they all vary in paces. Let's go. It's going hard. So now we're gonna settle into 10K pace for a minute. And now we're heading into the last minute of lactate threshold pace. Ooh -wee. First rep done. Well, that wasn't too bad. Four more left. Take all the tension out of your face and neck. Be chill. Whoa. Drop your shoulders and keep your head up. I need that reminder. Okay, right, so time for the last interval. You can see the finish line. Woo! Finish line! And what a difference from week one. That's it from me on the final workout. To get your best results, let's treat that finish line run like a 5K race, but give yourself plenty of time to recover and fuel properly beforehand before giving it all you've got. You've got until November 29th to get that finish line run in the bag and become an official graduate of Zwift Academy Run. Good luck. Over on ZA Tri, we hit the last workouts ahead of the finish line events. This week's bike session is all about refining your threshold power challenging combination of shorter and longer VO2 max intervals score highly on training stress, so make sure you're well rested for this one. This week's ZHI Runner Workout is also aimed at developing your threshold fitness. Starting with longer reps, the pace will gradually increase until you're running just above your threshold pace. Get ready to feel the burn! When it comes to training, whether it's for a race or if you're chasing that PB, Staying motivated isn't always easy. Eric Engel from the ZA Tri team in 2021 knows this better than anyone. Let's hear his story to find out more. My name is Eric Engel. I'm from Madison, Wisconsin. In the past, I kind of got burned out training too much, just focusing on results, results, results. Swift helping as well, just bringing the fun back into training and the camaraderie of the team really motivates me and gives me a validation that I belong here with those athletes. Eric is just a machine, he's just an animal. And he's had some amazing performances this year. I swear he's racing every weekend. If not in real life, then on Swift. I don't know how he does it. I love to race. Racing motivates me. It's what keeps me going. I saw it pretty early on. He used to 
dog his brother a lot. I have a friend who always says, well, those genes are half of yours too. <laughs> Starting in college, I started experiencing different mental health issues, anxiety, and depression. Athletics have always been the one thing that kind of keeps me motivated, keeps my mind free. When I would get anxious or have some bouts of depression, I'd stop training. And then when I stop training, I get anxious about not training. So it's kind of like this downward spiral. Just learning how to deal with that and learning to deal with it's okay to take a break. It's okay to not be okay. His best friend passed away and he did a couple of races in honor of Ryan. Well, I think he does them all for Ryan. <laughs> he always felt ever since that tragedy happened that there was something more, there was something to push for. He's a good guy. I'm very proud to call him our son. I still struggle with it. It doesn't have to be a sad thing. It's part of life and a lot of people go through it and so it's good to talk about it and get out there. Well, that's it for me today on all things Zwift Academy. Be sure to let me know how you got on on your finish line run in the comments below, but I'll be back next week as we hit that final stretch of ZA Track. It is time for the Feed Zone, your one-stop shop for nutritious meals, snacks, and drinks before, during, and after Zwift rides and races. Now, with Nyokyo now live, we're gonna take inspiration from Japan with this delicious looking ramen. We all know that carbs and cycling, well, they go hand in hand, but what is it about ramen specifically that's so good for us Zwifters? Well, here we go. Ramen is packed with leafy green vegetables, a great source of iron known to reduce fatigue. We need that. As well as that, a soft boiled egg, packed with protein, ideal for recovery post-ride. And finally, ramen broth is filled with nutrients that can boost your immune system. Now, this is normally the point where I taste whatever's in the feed zone. The problem is, there's no dignified way to eat a bowl of ramen. You never eat it on a date unless you have a potential partner who likes a face full of broth. So, I'm going to let voiceover OJ take over while I attempt to eat this in the most polite way possible. Thank you, face OJ. Delicious, I can tell you, one of the nicest broths I've ever had. Now, maybe it's not something you can pull out of a jersey and eat mid-ride, but certainly a dish to be enjoyed before or after any Zwift session. If you want the recipe, well, it's in the link below. Isn't that right? Mm. What he said. If, like me, you want to know everything there is to know about Neokyo, then listen and watch carefully, because this is the segment of the show for you. For instance, how many routes are there? How can I get there? How can I tell my family that I'm about to spend every spare moment of time in Neokyo? Well, it's time for A to Zwift. N is for Neokyo. Beyond the ancient serenity of Yumezi lies a nocturnal wonderland, Neokyo. Neokyo puts you in the fast lane, beneath neon lights, soaring skyscrapers, and the midnight sky. Neo means new, and Kyo is the Japanese word meaning capital city. In the Mercury Island world, Yumezi and Neokyo are linked via the Yumezi Tunnel. This tunnel helps to create the longest route in all of Macquarie Islands, temples and towers at 32.5 kilometers long. Once inside Neokyo, you'll find eight new routes across 21 kilometers of new roads, four sprint segments, and a climb segment. Neokyo is fast and flat with tight turns and winding circuits. Go full gas through Sprint Alley, light up the Neo Arcade, and get above the city streets on the rooftop climb. This is where the night speeds up. Rushing tonight, welcome to Neokyo. Last but definitely not least, it is time for Workout of the Week with the one, the only, Shane the Gaffer Gaffney. Now, maybe you're looking to level up your training or you just enjoy sweating all over the walls of your pain cave like I do, atomizing every bit of moisture in your body, then Workout of the Week is for you. Take it away, Shane. This week's Workout of the Week is Cruise Control. 
This is the third and final Lercole Training with Legends Workout of the Week. We'll tackle a workout inspired by Spartacus, aka Fabian Cancellara. This session is all about increasing your sustainable power output and muscular endurance, something that Fabian is known for. It's guaranteed to get you reaching maximum exertion in a very short period of time with its frequent changes in pace. The Lacole workouts have been designed and tested by some of the best cyclists in the world, including Olympians and world champions such as Kristen Armstrong, Sir Bradley Wiggins, Dame Sarah Story, and of course, Fabian Cancellara. Check them all out in the on-demand folder. Next week's Workout of the Week is Legion of LA's Lead Out Train, inspired by the Legion of LA. The team was created to advance the sport of cycling, eliminate boundaries, and promote diversity, representation, and inclusion. They want to grow the sport in America and let American masses know that you don't need to conform to be a part of a cycling community. This workout is a team favorite and will place you in the sprinter position of their famous lead out train. The intervals gradually increase in intensity until the final 30 seconds where you uncork your sprint to the line. Can you take the field sprint for the win? Oh, there you go. Sadly, that's all we have time for today. Remember, Neokyo is now live, so I'm about to slip into something a little bit more comfortable and ride those neon streets. Let me know in the comments below your first impressions from Neokyo. I would love to hear them. In the meantime, ride on. Thank you.